Mr. Allen. Quiet, Portland. Voice like yours should be rationed. It's Tosco time with Tosco Workshop players. Al Goodman and his orchestras are our starting Fred Allen. This is Jimmy Wellington saying hello to your neighborhood Tosco dealers and inviting you to be his guest tonight on Tosco Star Theater. It's his way of telling you that you're welcome. Welcome to all skills help you could give to make your tires and cars last longer. Make your cars, make your tires last longer. This week, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jefferson, the rubber director, he is asking all citizens to pick up nails and broken glass in the street to save tires. Now we're bringing the man, Mr. Jefferson, who can, can't save. He, he was born a flat tire and here he is, Fred Allen. Thank you, thank you. And you notice when I bend over the difference between uh, uh, when I bend over in a Hollywood comedian, when I go like that, the Hollywood comedian's hair comes off. You see here, thank you and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Say, Jimmy, that is an excellent, that is an excellent idea, you know, of Mr. Jeffers asking people to pick up glass and nails from the streets like that. Well, yes, Fred, if people would pick up nails in the street, there will be less punctures and more reason that could conserve their tires. Well, that's nice, Jimmy. Yeah, I read that the streets department here in New York is experimenting with the big magnet. They have this magnet and they drag it down the street and the magnet picks up loose nickels. Well, how does the magnet work out, Fred? Well, it's a little too strong, Jimmy. The first time they dragged the magnet out down Broadway, it janked the badges off 20 traffic cops. It dragged the flat iron building two blocks further down. And when the magnet passed the stock exchange, it pulled the U.S. steel down seven points. You see, the thing is... Um, Mr. Allen? Well, Portland. <laughs> Mr. Allen, I hope you like the Christmas gift I got for you. Oh, Portland, you shouldn't. A gift? Yes, uh, it was in Cartier's yesterday. Cartier's? That's the... Why Cartier's? It's the most exclusive jewelry shop on 5th Avenue. That's the place. Well, I hope they gave you good service. They sure did. Mr. Cartier himself told me how to, how to get to Woolsworth. Oh, fine. You know, I did so much shopping at Woolsworth. They're calling me Mr. 5 by 10 now. Tell me what it is. What is your mother doing for Christmas? Well, on account of the Stoke stocking shortage, yeah, Mom was hanging up her slacks over the fireplace. Oh, fine, swell. Do you think Santa will fill Mama's slacks? Not like your mother does. Go away, go away. You bother me. I have to make a special announcement about our guest. No, tonight we're going to do a Christmas sketch, Portland. The one you do every Christmas. That's right, and I have to make an announcement here. Ladies and gentlemen, since radio at this season each year prevails upon Lionel Verrymore to revive Dickens' Christmas Carol, the Texaco Workshop players curtsy to tradition and wake up their cast to repeat a Christmas fable they first presented Jules ago. Now tonight, Santa shows his claws in, mo in a modern tale called Santa Claus Refuses to Mediate or Jingle Bell Shall Not Ring Tonight. Overture, maestro. This is Station NGNG. Good evening, friends. The makers of Jumballs, the giant mothballs guaranteed to trap nearsighted moths, bringing you the excited, exciting quiz program, Take It or We Will. We interrupt this exciting quiz program, Take It or We Will, to bring you a special announcement from the Assassinated News Service. 200 families live in an auto camp stop, building chimneys on their trailers. Do not expect Santa Claus. At Rutland, Vermont, a little girl says, I wrote Santa Claus a letter and got no answer. He ain't coming. At Detroit, Michigan, a labor official says, Nah, Santa Claus better ride, or the Teamsters unions all pull out every reindeer from here to Nome, Alaska. At New York, 200,000 children hold mass meeting. Santa Claus can't let us down. 200,000 of my cousins have appointed me their spokesman. I'm off to see Santa Claus now. Bill, my scooter. 
Well, come in. Little boy, what are you doing way up here at the North Pole? Bro, is this Santa Claus Disney? Yes, honey. I'm Mrs. Claus. Who are you? I'm Buddy Jones. Are you lost, son? No, I'm here to see why Santa refuses to ride this year. I'm glad you come. Son, I've been arguing with this old Foggy all week, and he refuses to budge. Where is Santa Claus now, Mrs. Claus? He's in the next room. There, sulking. Can I see Santa? Won't do you no good, son, but I'll get him for you. Here's Santa! There ain't no use in cocks and ma. I ain't going. Come on out, stupid. You got company. Yeah, company. Who? I'm Buddy Jones, Santa Claus. Well, that don't mean nothing to me, small fry. Is this awful rumor true, Santa Claus? Yep, I ain't riding, son. But this is Christmas Eve, Santa. Trees are lighted, millions of trusting children have hung up their stockings. The world is waiting for you. Well, the world can wait. Now I ain't riding. But Santa... Ain't no use, Nippa. He's, an... He's stubborn. I ain't not neither stubborn, Ma Claus. I'm just sick of being Santa Claus. The world don't appreciate nothing. Squabbling, threatening, striking, warring. But you can't just quit, Santa. You must have a reason. I got plenty of reasons, Sprout. As spokesman for 200,000 kitties, I demand a statement. Well, what does he want to know, Shaver? Well, why won't you ride tonight, Santa Claus? Well, son, I'll tell ya. Sit down here on my lap. Son, I've been Santa Clausing it ever since the world began. For 1942 years, I've been bringing people presents every Christmas, trying to spread joy. My intentions have been good, but my reward has been nothing but heartaches and misery. The first trouble I had was way back in ancient Rome. It was Christmas Eve in the court of Nero. The emperor was playing a violin concerto. Man, this guy sucks. Zounds, lackeys, you dare to give Nero the pheasant. <laughs> Barneyus, you rebel scoff at my pizzato. Your music will never get Rome heartaceous. <laughs> you tarts, be gone, hypocrites! Nero can get heartiest. Cold swine, I'll show them. Ha 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 ha. What gives? What tumbles out of my chimney? Merry Christmas, Nero. Merry Christmas. Who art thou, Lumpkin, in the chimney sweep? I am Santa Claus, Nero, bearing Christmas gifts for you and your majesty. Ultimus nausea. What is it, another bag of figs from the Rome stage door canteen? My gift is a trinket rare, Nero. So rare, it hasn't even been invented yet here. Grammarcy, now. What is this tiny golden box? It's a cigarette lighter, Nero. Turn the little wheel. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nero. It flames! Roman scoff at Nero. Nero will have his revenge. <laughs> Watch that lighter, Nero. You're setting fire to them. Draperies. I can't make Rome hot with my music, huh? I'll make Rome hot another way. Revenge! Revenge! <laughs> Look out, Nero. Fire! 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 So you see, son, if it weren't for Santa Claus... Rome would have, wouldn't have been burned. Gosh, that was too bad, Santa. See, there I was trying to spread good cheer, and what I get? The first hot foot in history. But that was 2,000 years ago. 
Santa Claus, and you shouldn't hold a grudge that long. Well, Nero was just prologue to my trouble, son. A few centuries later, I set out to bring a present to Napoleon and Josephine. I'll never forget that Christmas, son. Josephine was sitting on a Chasey Davenport. Napoleon over. Josephine, my petit. Happy. Well, I am the tour on my way to Waterloo, especially Montrose River. Mon lover, mon nappy wappy. One minute, and your nappy is away. Ah, sis la guerra. Ah, uh, nappy, I will be faithful. Yeah, such a man who dares to stay close to my Josephine, I will kill him. Ah. To say. Ma Petite, Josephine has no other boyfriends. Nappy, you swear. Bien, mon big beefy wife, Joe. I have a farewell present for you, Nappy. I will leave Sete when we see you. Ah, bien, bien. Madame as well from many place, parlez Val. Ho, 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 ho. Who goes there? Who is coming through the fireplace? Merry Christmas, Napoleon. Sacre bleu, you've come to woo my Josephine. Gigolo. Hold on, put that truncheon down. Voila, cuisine, take this, and this, and this. Help, let me out. Help, help. Aha, yeah, bien. <laughs> Ooh la la, your little Josephine returns, Nappy. Would you miss us all, my slight pussycat? We, oui, I forgot, it is Christmas Eve. What can be keeping Santa Claus? Santa? Mon dieu, you are expecting the chap in the red suit? We, oui, Nappy, you don't think Santa Claus will come? Not tonight, Josephine. Yes, son. Napoleon gave me a concussion that Christmas. Running out the castle, I fell into a moat. My army got wet and came to life. My collar and one cuff got away. But you can't stay mad for a while because years ago, one crazy Frenchman locked you up, Santa Claus. Well, things happened since, son. Another Christmas, I got a raw deal at a suburb of England. It was called the American Colonies. I dropped in at the house of some jockey called Paul Revere. The cottage had no chimney, so I looked in the window. Miss Revere was prepping Christmas turkey. Pa come gumping into the room. Yeah, Christmas dinner right now. Yes, Pa. Pull up the chair. No, no. Set my plate on the mantelpiece. Can't you sit down yet, Pa Revere? That ride was last April. Well, every mid-sex village and farm ain't once around Central Park, Effie. Well, you ought to try and set down for Christmas, Paul. It'd be nice. It'd be a nice Christmas present for your spine. Who's that? Might be a British spy, Paul. Hand me my gun, Effie. Who's there? Wick or Tory? Merry Christmas, Paul Revere. It's me, Santa Claus. So what? I got your Christmas present, Pa. It's a cushion stuffed with the fuzz from Delaware peaches. Gosh, for me to set on? You bet. Don't let him in. I ain't sat down for eight months, Effie. It sounds mighty tempting. It might be some enemy trick, Pa. I am Santa Claus. Honest engine, Mrs. Revere. Open up. I got my gun, Effie. I'll open the door crack. Merry Christmas. I told you, Paul. Look at that shoe. A red coat. Take this. Oh, oh. You see, son, the world's giving all Santa plenty of trouble. Sure done, you dirt. 
but nobody dare abuse Santa Claus today. Well, that's where you go wrong, son. Only last week I was previewing a visit in a place called New York. I was flying over some building. I think they call it Radio City. Well, I come down the air conditioning into some office. I was just going to wish the man a Merry Christmas when he yells. Well, what do you want, Whiskers? Well, I'm Santa Claus. We're auditioning today. I ain't trying to get into radio. I'm a mythical character. Being a friend of Duffy of Duffy's Tavern won't help you. Now pick up that bag and beat it. Well, you've heard of Santa Claus, ain't ya? Well, yeah, but you're a has-been, Santa Claus. A has-been? Radio's doing everything you used to and doing it better. But I'll fly through the air. So does radio. Radio comes down the antennas. I give things away. For how many box tops? I give things away for nothing. Well, so does radio. Radio does, I. Eh? Dr. IQ gives away vitamins. Yeah. Take it or leave it gives away pencils. Yeah. Quiz Kids gives away information. Truth or Consequences gives away soap. Now hold on, son. There's one thing I've been sprinting for 1942 years, but radio ain't giving away. Oh, yeah? What's that? Santa Claus is giving goodwill. Radio is giving away 60 minutes of that stuff on a program every week. What program? The Goodwill Hour. Well, I was thrown out of Radio City. Folks don't need Santa Claus no more. Radio's giving them everything. Gee, Santa, you certainly had a lot of trouble. And that's why my spirit's broken, son. Being Santa Claus is just a pain in one century after another. I'm giving the world back to Rand, Mc Rand and McNelly. I'm through. Please don't say that, Santa. Have pity on this kid. We'll have no toys. Santa ain't moving, son. This is one Christmas I'm going to enjoy in peace. It's Christmas Day, Santa Claus. Yeah, don't mean nothing to me. I'm taking it easy. I'm sitting here, right here. W won't you change your mind, Santa? I ain't getting kicked around again this Christmas. Please, Santa, please. Aw, oh, shucks. Hush your crying, son. Hey, Ma. Yeah, Santa? Where's my mittens, my bag, my reindeer, my sleigh? Santa, you ain't... Yup. I'm going, Ma. Honest, Santa Claus? Yup, I changed my mind, son. Thank you, Santa. Christmas ain't Christmas without Santa Claus. I'm giving the world one more chance. Can I have a statement for all of the kids, Santa? You bet you can, Sonny. Just say, Merry Christmas. Hiya, Dunder. Hiya, Vixen. Merry Well, that takes care of tonight's installment, ladies and gentlemen. Next week, our guest will be Dennis Day, star of Mary Livingston program. This is Fred Allen, ladies and gentlemen. And since this is our last show before Christmas, all of us here in Texaco Star Theater and all our Texaco dealers from Christopher wish you a Merry Christmas. Good night. <laughs>